Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The music is so loud, so I'm gonna have to talk really loud, which makes me very uncomfortable, but it's been a really weird week for me. Um, I'm a self-taught tarot person, but I'm um, currently taking a course that kind of makes me go deeper into the tarot, and so I've been working with like the major arcanas this week, which has been really powerful. So for any of you that have um, your own tarot deck, I would suggest to like actually just take the major arcanas out and like pull one a day because it's been very, um, it's it feels more, that's the word I'm looking for. When you pull like a major arcana once a day, you really feel like the tarot is trying to connect with you on such a deep level and that it's a message that really was meant for you not that other messages aren't but anyway so with that being said i'm gonna do the taurus reading i've also been doing a lot of like grounding work and like self-care this week so i'm kind of in like a different like energy space i've been eliminating a lot of toxins from my life and um anyways i'm happy to be sharing it with you Tauruses. So today I'm just using um, the Star, the Moon Child Tarot deck. I didn't even bring any of my other decks. I'm really sorry that the music is too loud. I don't know what's going on. So, all right, let's see what's going on with the current energies with Taurus. Three of Cups, the Hermit reversed, and the Magician. The Magician sort of, I guess, reversed because it's not upright. I kind of feel like you guys have been sort of, this is very unlike you though, but I feel like you've been sort of distracting yourself with like social gatherings and friends and people. And while that's good with the magician reversed and the hermit reversed, I feel like this is not serving you right now because you feel very um, powerless. You don't feel like you have um, the skill set to be overcoming whatever it is in your life and you're also kind of avoiding like going internally to find the answers I feel like you're looking very like externally for the tools and the answers to get you through whatever it is this period this maybe it's the mercury retrograde as your birthday um month comes up I don't know I just kind of feel like you guys are um sort of like avoiding something through partying and through social gatherings and if for the three of cups was just here alone i would say that's great but with the magician reverse i feel like you guys are not in touch with your own personal power and you're relying a lot on other people to kind of like and maybe you went through something where you really needed other people so i'm not like sh shutting that out but um this is like a very this card is actually a very Taurus card. I don't actually know if it's a Taurus card, but it just feels very Taurus-like because the Ten of Pentacles is all about comfort and security and stability. And I feel like that's ultimately what you guys are always searching for. So it is kind of weird that you're like in this like party kind of like mode, but I feel like it's because... I feel like somebody really like stabbed you in the back you guys are very loyal and honest i will give you that and i feel like someone was not very honest with what they wanted from you but i feel like i don't know why but they kind of took away some of your like innocence i don't know where that is coming from but um it kind of like blindsided you too. I feel like this was someone that you really put your trust and faith in and like out of nowhere they kind of like betrayed you, like backstabbed you. So, <sighs> yeah, you feel like they left you out in the cold with the five of pentacles and with the seven of wands reverse, I kind of feel like you guys, um, you kind of feel like this is like a battle that's not even worth like fighting. Like you kind of feel like, wow, this person already like showed you their true colors and like made you feel so low and so like rejected. And I think that's 
part of why you're seeking refuge in like other friends and other people right now because I feel like if you were to like sit with the pain of what like this person really did to you it's like really really awful so I don't know like I almost feel like they either like stole your significant other stole money from you I feel like they very much like imposed on your sense of security and your sense of stability and um you were you got into a lot of battles with this person but now you kind of feel like it's pointless because they just showed you who they are and you're just kind of like all right well i'm just going to try to cope but i don't feel like you're coping in that great of a way to be honest with you there's another three here I'm not going to take this card because it's not this three of wands and the fool. I feel like you guys are sort of like, this is the innocence that I'm talking about, but I feel like you're, and I've actually been here before too, um, it's not a relevant situation to me right now, but I feel like you were very innocent when you got involved with this person and you're kind of like you don't know how to get your innocence back and you're like waiting on them sort of to come back and give you your um your sense of self back which it's kind of like this um trauma bond of like thinking that you can get yourself back through the person that took it away but actually i think it's going to take a lot of um inner work um looking at the parts of you that were maybe too trusting and too innocent and like even though innocence is great and the fool is like this like untethered like um unscathed kind of card and this open card i feel like there is a point where we all do have to like sort of um grow up and learn these harsh lessons and it's also kind of like a um a light shining on the parts of ourselves that we maybe didn't realize we're not conducive to our overall health and growth so whatever harsh lessons this person is bringing up for you it's really important for you guys to instead of like focusing on the person and the situation what happened focus on what is happening internally in you and getting clues to who you are through how you dealt with this situation because i feel like there's a lot of power and control dynamics here and this person made you feel very much powerless but maybe this was also something where like your ego had to be kind of shot down for you guys to learn your barriers to um relationship dynamics and stuff so i feel like just looking at this is like this is all meant to happen for your greater good and that it's teaching you lessons like very valuable lessons about yourself yeah this is exactly what i'm talking about the moon is like the places inside of us that we have to heal that are very uncomfortable to go to and um some of you might have been dealing with a capricorn but i also feel like this is um this is like the addictive part of you the um the part of you the codependent part of you the part of you that needs other people to be a certain way for you to be okay and maybe this is part of your um moon and maybe the full moon also like brought this stuff up so i feel like this was all very like serendipitous in a weird karmic way that like is painful but it's helping you heal those parts of yourself um there's a king of swords here and an eight of pentacles so some of you might be um working on some kind of dynamic with like a gemini libra or aquarius but also working to kind of detach yourself emotionally from what happened and um really just work on detachment i feel like of the pain and more so get into the lessons of what happened so this is a really heavy reading Tauruses. i'm sorry i didn't really get into any love dynamics but i wasn't feeling it with this reading so hopefully this message reaches someone who this resonates with all right guys i'll see you guys soon bye